Well, I thought we'll start off in the greenhouse again. As you can see, tomato plants are absolutely flying along now. They're about four or five foot tall, some of them. And I've got some tomatoes on already, if you can see, little ones. So I need to start feeding now. That's the Shirley variety. Chilies are all growing away well now. They're the jaws long, they're the taller ones. Prairie fires behind, I'll just get to this other one. Another little dwarf ones there, covered in flour, so there should be little chilies on soon. And then uh, cucumbers, absolutely going nuts now. Look, these are a mini cucumber variety, I've been harvesting those already, so. Uh, and they keep coming along and along and along, so there'll be a constant supply of those for ages now. Same thing with that one, that's a, a medium sized one over there, but uh, they're all growing well. These are my sweet peppers, seem to be a lot better than if, you know than usual, got really big leaves. And we're getting some flowers on already, so again there should be some fruit appearing on those soon. So I couldn't really be happier. Oh, if I try not to trip up, everything's flying along in here. Even the bush tomatoes and stuff, I've got some tomatoes on those. If I can just get in and show you those, they're the plum ones, just starting there. So like I say, everything in the, in the greenhouse is growing away fantastically. We'll just nip up to the plot now. Well hi folks, here I am up at the plot again. It's getting a bit windy so it might affect the sound a bit because it looks like there's a bit of a thunderstorm coming in so I better get a bit of a wriggle on. I'll just give you a quick look, these are the leeks that I've transplanted. Overwintering onions, these are the ones that are seem to be going to seed. These were called Shakespeare that I bought from a certain place so I'm not what me growing those again. And these are a different variety that I planted just a little bit later and there's none of these bolted and they're bulbing up really well so I will not be buying Shakespeare because they tend to bolt with me by the looks of things. I'll be sticking to this variety and I can't bloody remember which sort it was, can I? Which is typical. Shallots, show shallots, all splitting and swelling nicely now. Spring onions, they should be ready, actually. Well, they could probably take some now, but another week or so and they'll be ready to be starting to eat those, I think. Parsnips romping away now. The kale's absolutely flying. This is a different variety of kale. Can't remember which sort it was, but it's. Uh, could probably start taking a few little leaves of that now, just giving it a try. Right, we'll just nip over into this bit. Sun's coming out now. All my flowers are coming out now, and it's starting to look bloody brilliant. It's all wild stuff. I don't even don't weed any of it. It's just these perennial poppies and fox gloves and all sorts of stuff. Just let them get on with it. Look, belting sometimes when the sun comes out. Okay, there are a few weeds in there, but who cares? Just pull them out. I'll just show you this mutant foxglove. That's a normal foxglove. Another normal foxglove. And then this mutant one with a giant flower on top. Look, that's just exploded. There is a word for that, but I've forgotten what it is. Someone told me last year because I got one last year. So. Uh, it's a freak is that. Right, we'll just uh, more foxgloves have a wander up here. Potatoes are absolutely flying on now in pots, can't tell where the pots are. So uh, we'll be needing to do, do a bit of watering. Because they do tend to dry out if you don't water them, but uh, all good. Garlic, I notice a lot of people have got rust this year, but Thankfully I've not got it. I don't tend to get it when I spring plant. I got it when I planted in the, in the autumn once, that's why I never did it again. But when I spring plant I've never had it, so that's probably because they're not hanging around all over winter. Getting all the spores and stuff. These are the lettuce now, I've been taking some of these. In fact I'll just try and take one of these now. I should have brought my knife, shouldn't I? I'll just pull it all up with, with roots and all. There you go, that's this multi-green lettuce, absolutely wonderful, brilliant stuff. And then there's more lettuce, these uh, Webb's wonderful icebergs, they're hearting up. I think I'll take one of these ice, but um, little gem as well actually. 
you know, I've got something polytunnel that are a bit bigger, so I'll take one of those. Cabbage is looking like they're just starting to heart up, if I can get my shadow out of the way. These are the Greyhound. These are the Savoys, they're not looking like they are doing. They're all growing away well, no complaints. Summer sprouting broccoli, still not seeming to grow very fast, but uh, no rush. Peas absolutely flying on now, I think I'm just starting to get my first flower. First little flowers there, so there should be some peas on soon. Wind's getting up now. Needs tying up actually, look. Starting to flop over, so I'll just get a bit of string around those. Second lot of lettuces that I just direct sow into the into the soil so they should be ready when the others are finished. There are the shallots from seed, the banana shallots. All perked up a bit now because they were looking a bit limp and floppy when I planted them but give them a week or two and they do tend to pick up. Right we'll just nip into the polytunnel now and I'll uh, show you what's going on in there. Right here we are in the polytunnel folks. Uh, my cobra climbing French beans. I've just about climbed to the top now. Well in fact one has. So what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to train some strings across to the middle of the polytunnel and then I'll train them horizontally so you get like another six foot and then the beans hang down, get a much bigger crop. There are my cost lettuces inside, I'll take one of those actually, because they're ready now. Same thing, I should have taken one of these lettuces, shouldn't I? Absolutely fly on inside. Courgettes and squashes. Moving on now, look at that, even got a first little tiny courgette starting there. So we'll be starting to get those soon. Giant onions starting to bulb up now. These are the ones in the pots. You can see the bulb size. No problems yet, no bolters, nothing, no pests or anything. So touch wood, it should continue. These are the carrots, show carrots. Absolutely flying huge leaves now so they should be good there for the shows in September same thing with the long carrots in the barrels in four foot sand barrels looking so much better than the ones outside the ones outside they're about an inch tall they're just not grown they've not grown at all so I won't bother with them outside again oh not enough room in here now some more giant ones I'll just step over all this rubbish these are my show, show onions, the Kelsies that I grew from my own seed. And they're cracking on now. Starting to bulb up nicely. Get some nice bulbs. I want a nice tall, sort of pear shaped bulb. That's the sort of shape you're looking for. I just keep taking all these odd dead leaves off to try and stop any botrytis forming. But touch wood again, doing well, doing well. That's two of these ridiculous carrots. I've never seen a carrot as plant as tall as this. They're just bog standard carrots, I'll just give you... Well, that's the top of one of them, I think there's bigger ones than that. And they've got another three months to grow, so how big they'll be, nobody knows. And then finally on to Mr Big. I'll just take this old leaf off. This is the big one. I think I'm going to put all my hopes into this one because uh, so far it's growing amazingly well. It's absolutely bloody massive, look at it. Like I say, it's got what the rest of this month, July, August and a bit of September to grow. So if it keeps growing, we should get a monster. So anyway, that's about it, I think, for this little roundup. It's supposed to thunder it like anything. Downpours, hailstones and all sorts. And the clouds are building, it's getting really humid, so uh, I'll get on and do what I've got to do, and that's about it folks. See you later.